a day after 15th August, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh handed over weapons to the Indian Army. So, what are these weapons and why are they considered so critical for the modernization of the army? We will all be looking into. Hello and welcome to the In Focus series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha Singh and in today's video, we will be talking about Army's new firepower, Nippon, F Insas, and LCA. So, first, let's see the timeline of the video. First, we will be looking at what is the news, then what is F in SAS, that is F I N S A S system? Then F in SAS is modeled on what basis? What are Nippon mines and LCA, that is landing craft assault? And what are other defense systems that has been handed over to the army? Initiatives for the modernization of defense sector in India. And in the end, we will be looking into a prelims MCQ and a mains practice question. This topic is of relevance from General Studies Paper 3, Growth and Development and, and Indigenization of Technology. Very important topic from both prelims and mains. From prelims perspective, it is important to know that what F in SAS, Nippon Mines and LCA are related to and what will be their role in the Indian Army. And from mains perspective, in initiatives for the modernization of defense sector. So, let's get started and see the news. This news has been taken from the explained section of Indian Express and it says all about F in SARS, Nippon Mines and LCA, the new systems handed over to the army. So, this has been done a day after 15th August and what is more about the news? Then on 15th August, the Made in India Hoitzer gun was used for the very first time for the ceremonial 21 gun salute during the Independence Day celebration. So, you can see this Made in India Hoitzer gun that is A-T-A-G-S. This was used for giving the ceremonial 21 gun salute during the Independence Day celebration and Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has handed over several new defense systems to the army a day after the 15th August and these new defense systems are F in SAS, Nippon Mines and Landing Craft Assault to the army. So, now let's first talk about the F in SAS system. So, out of the three weapons that has been handed over to the army, the most important or uh, the one system which will be playing the most important role in the modernization of the army will be the F INSAS system. So, and the full form of F INSAS or F INSAS stands for Future Infantry Soldier as a System. So, the important word here is infantry. So, what is a infantry? Collectively, all the soldiers who are on their foot are called infantry. So, this F INSAS system. F in SAS system is for the infantry or for the soldiers who are on their feet to make them modern, to give them modern weaponry and make them feel more empowered. So, this is for infantry modernization and increasing the operational capability of the soldier. So, whenever the soldier is in the battlefield or whenever the soldier is fighting, then the operational capabilities or the capabilities of the soldiers when the soldier is on field should increase. This is what is the aim of F in SARS system to increase the operational capability of the soldier. Then soldiers are being equipped with modern systems and there are, uh, there are few modern systems that has been provided under it. We will just be looking into and these modern systems are lightweight so that soldiers do not find it difficult uh, to carry them all weather be it winter summer spring autumn then the, the the insas system should be able to work all terrain be it mountains plains poles anywhere cost effective so that the insas system so, should not uh, be very heavy on india's exchequer and then on low maintenance this is what the INSAS system stands for and this is how it will help in the modernization of the 
army so let's look further further then the, all the full gears that are included inside the insas system are first and the foremost is the ak203 assault rifle okay just look at this image this is what the insas system will look like and the A ak203 rifle is this and uh, and uh, with the collaboration of which country india is producing the ak203 assault rifle that is russia so ak203 assault rifle is of russian origin magazine fed select fire assault rifle and its range is how much its range is 300 meters and it is made and it is being made at korva which is near amethi in a russia india joint venture important prelims point that uh, ak203 assault rifle is made with which countries collaboration or with which countries help then it is india and russia then apart from ak203 assault rifle and a multi made hand grenade is also used see this image multi made hand grenade this is the first one this is the second one then multi mode hand grenade will have two modes that is defensive as well as offensive modes then uh, the insas system will also consist of ballistic helmets and ballistic goggles okay this is the ballistic helmet third one and these are the ballistic goggles so the ballistic helmets and the ballistic goggles will have protection against small projectiles and fragments then apart from this a bullet proof vest or a bullet proof jacket will also be there which will protect the soldier from 9 mm bullets and a ak47 rifle so uh, this is the bullet proof jacket that the soldier is wearing this will be the fifth one so what is all this is doing this is making the soldier ready for fight this is making the soldier more uh, pre more prepared and more prepared to go to the battlefield to fight with improved ammunition that they have and for their protection also that uh, the insas system will make the soldiers better prepared for the battlefield then okay then it also has a target acquisition which is rifle mounted holograph sight for the fast and accurate aiming this is present above the ak203 rifle for fast and accurate aiming okay see this rifle again this is ak203 rifle and this is the holographic sight for fast and accurate aiming so that you can accurately aim at the target then next one is the helmet has a mounted night vision device for operating in low light condition this was one of the major problems that our soldiers was facing that during the night times they could not work properly because the night vision was not proper so now there is a sol solution is given to it that this is the helmet and a night vision is mounted over the helmet so that whenever the soldier is uh, working at in the night then a night vision can be provided easily then hands free secured advanced communications is set for real time exchange of information when a soldier is on a battlefield or when the soldier is on the field and already carrying a rifle in his hand then it becomes extremely difficult to communicate with something physical so a hands free is provided okay look at the image this is the hands free which is provided so this will help in the better communication uh, of with the other soldiers also so that they can share their strategies easily then uh, the insas system is sourced from defense public sector undertakings and private indian industries so this is a perfect example for make in india campaign also so this is all about the insas system then now f insas is modeled on what basis what was the basis that f insas was looked into 
then it is one of one among many soldiers modernization program across the world see india is not the first country which is working on the modernization of army or working for the betterment of the soldiers there are many other countries also which are working for the modernization of army then it is one among those modernization programs then the same program in us is called land warrior and in uk is called fist fist stands for future integrated soldier technology and f in sars is aim is to optimize the soldiers performance across the full spectrum and duration of a military operation so it need to it aim towards enhancing improving making the soldiers perform better and also uh, making them feel more secured and security purposes are more improved through the f insar system then the, according to the drdo scientist uh, before making the f insar system what the drdo or what the uh, defense ministry has looked into is the modernization programs of us france germany and israel were studied for the indian project so the we have looked into all the all the modernization programs of other countries and have taken important aspect from the from those what can work better for us now let's talk about nippon mines okay this is the image of nippon mines uh, i think if you people have seen the border movie you can like easily relate to these mines uh in that movie there are many a times which uh, uh many a times has been said that anti tank mines are used so these are mainly used as the border areas or the line of defense so that the infiltrators or someone coming from the other side of the border cannot easily able to enter into our territory so nippon mines are indigenously designed and developed so these are also made in india and these are anti personnel mines so the people coming from the other side of the border cannot enter into our territory and according to drdo these are soft target blast munitions then they are also called the first line of defense against infiltrators and enemy infantry as they are uh, kept along the borders and uh, as they, this is anti personnel so a uh, Uh, required amount of weight is it keeps on the mines then the mines explodes and this is how they defend the territory then it is developed through the efforts of armament research and development establishment which is a pune based drdo facility and the indian industry so this is completely made in india campaign this comes completely under the made in india campaign and it is smaller in size and it can be deployed in large number we can easily see that it is smaller in size so it is easily deployable at the border areas or at the territory then its aim is to give protection to the troops on the borders and is more potent and effective as compared to the earlier mines because they are easy, because they are smaller so these can be easily transported from one place to another now let's come to the third part that is lca landing craft assault uh, look at these images this is the landing craft assault which has been uh, which has been inducted to replace the boats which was earlier used so lca is replacement for the boats because see the boats has uh, certain limited capabilities the boats cannot uh, acquire many number of people or heavy uh, heavy things cannot travel easily inside the boats so there was certain limitations inside boats so uh, there was a need felt to replace the boats with something of upper or an improved version so the lca has been uh, inducted to for the, as the replacement for the boats as the boats had limited capabilities in the use in the pangong tiso lake so the pangong tiso lake is present where it is present in the ladakh region and this was much in 
न्यूज सो इन पेंगोंग तेसो लेक ओनली द इंडियन आर्मी फेल्ट द नीड फॉर एन अपग्रेडेड वर्जन ऑफ बोर्ड्स सो लुकिंग इन टू द शॉर्टकमिंग्स ऑफ द बोर्ड्स द एल सी ए वॉज अडोप्टेड एंड इन द एल सी ए वी कैन सी दैट मोर नंबर ऑफ पीपल एंड मोर नंबर ऑफ हैवी स्टफ कैन बी ट्रांसपोर्टेड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस ईजिली देन इट द एल सी ए इज ऑल्सो इंडिजीनियसली डिवेलप्ड बाय गोवा बेस्ड एक्वेरियस शिप यार्ड लिमिटेड एंड इट हैज बेटर लॉन्च बेटर स्पीड एंड बेटर कपेसिटी टू ऑपरेट अक्रॉस वॉटर ऑब्स्टिकल्स विच द बोट्स वॉज नॉट एबल टू डू एंड आर आर्मी वॉज सफरिंग बिकॉज ऑफ इट नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द अदर डिफेंस सिस्टम विच हैज बीन इंडक्टेड बाय द आर्मी अपार्ट फ्रॉम द एफ इंसास निपुन माइन्स एंड द एल सी ए Uh, i've just written the names because the most important was the f insas nipun mines and the lca so i've written the names of all the other defense systems and these are thermal imaging site for t90 tanks hand held thermal imager frequency hopping radio relay for tactical communication across much longer ranges this becomes important because a uh, communication over a longer uh, distance becomes a problem if the communication tools are not properly kept then there is downlink e equipment with recording facility to help the helicopters in surveillance missions then comes the infantry protected mobility vehicles quick reaction fighting vehicles mining remotely piloted aerial system surveillance detection and re consonance then comes next is the initiatives for modernization of the defense sector this is important from the mains perspective as there are many chances of this being asked because the defense sector of india and the army and the modernization of Ar army navy or the indian air force has been in news since a very long time so this becomes very important from the exam perspective to know and what is modernization of army or modernization of defense sector what is the central idea of it see the central idea of it is to make the equipments of the defense sector upgraded the technology needs to come in and play its major part so that we stand a chance with the other developed countries and the end can match with the other developed countries an improved and a better technologically fit equipments should be provided to the defense sector of india so few of the initiatives that the indian government has taken in this regard is defense india startup challenge this has been very good and has be has garnered very good support throughout india as more than 1000 msmes have uh, have invested in it or have taken participation in it then the next comes the self reliant and make in india make in india is performing really well as we are also manif becoming a Im and improved manufacturer in terms of the arms and ammunition then increase and this also increases employment opportunity in the defense sector and encouraging atmanirbhar bharat also and make in india campaign also then the ministry of defense has also launched the srijan portal to intensify atmanirbharta in defense this was much in news about the srijan portal then the government has also taken initiatives like d licensing d regulation export promotion we are working very intensely on the manufacturing of items in india and we have actually done a lot better in the last 5 to 10 years when it comes to the manufacturing aspect of the defense then encouraging fdi to liberalize the defense industry so these are few of the initiatives uh, by the indian government for the modernization of the defense sector you can even search for many more so that you can have more points then let's come to the prelims mcq and you people need to tell me the answer in the comment section and the question is 
that the Ministry of Defence has launched which portal to intensify Atma Nirbharta in defence? A. Sehat OPD portal. B. National portal of India. C. Atma Nirbhar Bharat portal. D. Srijan portal. So you people need to tell me the answer in the comment section. And let's come to the last point of the slide. That is mains practice question. And the question is what is F in SARS and how it will be beneficial for India's defense sector? Comment on modernization of armed forces. So there are two things that you need to focus on is first is what and second is comment. This is a 15 marker question. So try to do your answer writing practice. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Till we meet next time. Keep reading and keep writing.